Okay, welcome everyone back to another quest Q&A with Faction. Remember the last time I did um, VI with Leon? Also, there's not gonna be no camera, but I'll be playing the uh, some footages from the Faction I'm talking. Today I have Imo with me, which is the leader of the Velvet. Velvet is a zoner uh, faction right now. Um, before I go into details, I'll be inviting two boys and we'll have the questions. We have a couple questions here. We're gonna ask him, and let's see how this goes. So, Imo, welcome, dude. Yo, what's up, bro? Welcome, <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome to the show. <laughs> oh God, see, this sounds so, really professional. This sounds you got, you got the wrong nah, dude. On. I'm really bad. No, 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 <laughs> I'm not really bad. Okay. Welcome to the show. Oh, by the way, here's the most most inappropriate person who just just <laughs> like rests on every conversation ever. Right, yeah, cool, right. Guys. True, true. <laughs> You've been leading Velvet for. How long now? It's your own fact, right? You do, you haven't been handed, like it didn't be. It wasn't done by someone else at the beginning, right? So it's like no, no, literally really. your uh, work. Was, well, no, you can't really say that. A, oh. a faction is developed by a single person. Of course, leader. of course. What really happens is you have this like really stupid idea, like I had. It was like, hey guys, three part eleven keeps on getting attacked. Um, <laughs> let's oh, do a yeah. thing about that because you know. This True. has been going on since like 2014, where People 11 get sieged all True. the time. Especially, I mean, okay, I've yeah. not really spent a lot. Yeah, no, I've not spent a lot of time looking into the the history or anything because when I came back to Discovery, I was just like, yeah, cool, whatever. I'm going to do my own thing. Yeah, yeah. And then, sort of made the mistake of going to Freeport 11. Three or four Nomad sieges later, I was like, you know what? I'm getting tired of this. <laughs> <laughs> there have been there have been I... though, many other factions, right? Zona factions. Haven't you ever considered like, oh, maybe I should join them and change something or like... No, because I've, I've always been one of these people, like, the easiest way to change something is by doing your own thing. Oh, and if true. other people tag on. That's like, true. If that's other people true. tag on, you know that you've got a good idea. Like, if, if you start at the bottom of, yeah. of your own faction, yeah, okay, it's quite cool because you, you get to experience something that's not yours, you get to experience, yeah. like, someone else's idea. True, so if you've true. got an idea that you, you're so set on do it, yeah. I mean, it's like, I guess really it's like with anything in life, not even disco. Yeah, it's just sort of, it's true. Just go and do it. And if you, if you get the following, yeah, you're either doing something right or you're really good at pushing people into into the furnace that you walk in. True, no, you're right then. Also, I mean, not it's not like many factions and faction leaders have been really open to new ideas, right? When new people join in, yeah. they're most to be like, nah, you're going to do what I say. And this is, yeah, I know what you mean. So yeah. okay, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I've yeah. got like set things on on where this faction is heading, and yeah, I, th I think a couple of the questions that you sent me earlier do yeah. actually go into this. But it's sort of like one of those things of at, at, at its very core. Cool. Yeah, it's basically the whole meme of military zoners has been <laughs> such a running gag. Like it was True. a running gag back when I played in four point eight four, four point eight five, and four point eight six. Like it was just such a running gag. Zona Marines. Like, you want to know what? Let's, let's make your memes your dreams. Yeah. Let's do it. True, true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that you mentioned the questions, let's get to the actual questions. <laughs> all right, oh God, so... This is where it all goes wrong. There we go. <laughs> so, there will be a couple questions. Like I said, that we'll have probably... It's like a wide open question, which will have a lot of context and like discussion. And then there will, have, there will be questions that just probably have like two or two answers to it. But uh, I'll start with the uh, with a basic one. What is your faction yeah. about? Tell me about, about its origin and with what idea in mind you build it upon. Okay, so like I said, like yeah. I said earlier, it's sort of like one of those things that it was just originally it didn't really have an idea. It was just like yeah, me and me and a couple of guys we were just sitting and chilling outside Freeport Eleven, and it just kept on getting attacked over and over again. Yeah, we were yeah. like, you know what? This place needs like a proper security force or something like that. Where mm, yeah. instead of relying on other people to defend you, like core order, corsairs, outcasts, like anyone like that who's who's based in the Omicron, yeah, why not yeah. have it so zoners are just finally looking after themselves and instead of being a complete pushover faction like they have been, yeah, why not just have them as, you know what? Let's get a standing military. Let's actually organize ourselves. Yeah, we want to be free people. True. But sometimes you've got to sacrifice something to to gain it. It's like if you want that freedom, sometimes you've got to fight for it. And that, that's, that's sort of true, true. Yeah, and yeah. it sounds like really like philosophical and everything, but it, it sort <laughs> but of it sounds is true. like basic survival instinct. It's true. Like, you yeah. know what? We either sit, lay down, and play dead, and get shot, 
Yeah. Or we get up and we try and grab the gun off the person and try and shoot them before they shoot up. <coughs> yeah, yeah. God, I just realised how violent that sounded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, no, I mean, it sounds it sounds reasonable. I know what you mean. Especially with things like what happened with Gran Canaria. Again, it's going to lead on to that later on. Yeah. You sort of just sit there and you think, okay, how long can these people realistically go yeah. with giving this, giving this, giving this? And in reality, like in the real role playing environment, there's not a huge amount of zoners really. Like yeah. In reality, I think at this stage, Velvet has probably stolen all of them just because of how many members we've got. True. How many Aquilans, how many Nephilims, and everything else that we somehow just magically acquire. Yeah, yeah. And it's sort of like, you know what? There's got to be some explanation of why these people, they're so numerous, yet they keep on getting trodden on. Surely there's got to be some some buffer where you just think, right, enough, enough is enough. True, true. I'm just wondering, like... Um... The very basis of the zoner faction lore. Uh, mm. I mean, I don't know if you have based it on vanilla lore or just like mm. continued where the zoners are right now. But um, th there was also this, um, although this is in Discord, there was also this Freeport administration. Do you remember that? What was that? Something yeah. Confederation of Freeports or something? I forgot what it was. Called. Yeah, there used to be the old Confederation <coughs> of Freeports. Again, I, exactly. I, I'm going to be honest. I never really, when I started Velvet and everything else, I never really looked into the, the history. See. It I was see. sort of one of those things of right. What's happened has happened. We now need to just move forward. Yeah. Because right. if you keep looking backwards of things that have dissolved, like Phoenix, which is an awesome faction that's gone. Zona True. Alliance, which you told me literally yeah. just before this. <laughs> I was like, wait, who are they? I've never heard of these. This but, is yeah. war, no roleplay anymore. <laughs> That's, that was the Zoro Alliance. Yeah. True, true. So, and it was just like one of the, I don't know, again, it's just one of those things, I don't really know how to answer it, because it's just, things just happen, and then out of nowhere, there's like this faction that's yeah. currently being voted on for officialdom with 30 members, and the, mem the, the leader is just sat there like, Ah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, true, true. I mean, there wasn't really a, much of a struggle or anything. Yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah. But but based on that, like the Freedom Administration, are you guys now taking, like, kind of taking the role over that Freeport Administration thing? Or is it just really Freeport 11 and um, maybe nearby Freeports? Or are you actually planning to expand on the Freeports or just... Well, what yeah, is? because yeah. my character who's actually the leader of Velvet, she's also the Freeport Eleven administrator, yep. so I've sort of been tying those two in as much as I can together. I see. I've been speaking to like the guys of OSI and IRG like on and off, saying, "Look, guys, yeah, we're probably the biggest owner faction currently going at the moment. True, true. We're yeah. being choked just on Freeport Eleven here. I mean, I'm not asking to have your assets, but I need something more that I can expand onto." Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, they've not obviously outright said no, but they've not also outright said yes. I mean, that, that's yeah. entirely their decision. I mean, it's their stuff at the end of the day. I can't really turn around and go, hey, yeah. guys, you know how we're that faction that, that is really <laughs> tired of Zona's being stepped on? Well, now we're the big boys in the pod. <laughs> True. We're going to start stepping on you. <laughs> True. Give me, give me all this stuff. Like, yeah. it, would just, it would just be so hypocritical. Yeah. I mean, I, I have joked about it several times of, you know what, when, when we get get this and we get that, we're just going to steamroll like Platoon and things like that. <coughs> like, yeah. You have these really stupid ideas when you start up, and then you just go, mm -hmm. "Okay, no, let's let's be realistic. If we were to do that, we'd we'd be crushed straight away. We'd be completely yep. dissolved. Yep. There'd be no one that would want to play it because we just went in and completely memed it. Mm. We might as well do the slow meme and just enjoy it." <laughs> yes, that's that's good. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like in reality, as far as like Freeport administration and station administration goes, yeah, um, I've actually got a few members who are Freeport administrators. So I'm not going to drop names. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. That makes like, things I'm not easier. Names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's fine. But uh, um, but let's just say we're heavily involved in Theta. We're looking at getting involved in a lot of the Tau's, a lot of the Sigmas. Nice. Um, the Omegas were already heavily involved in what with Brand Canary going on still. Um, yeah. like, until they stop, until they stop the Zona migrants being a thing. As far <laughs> as I care, any yeah. Zona who's got a liner, just go and make the most of it. Yeah. But yeah. be warned, anyone who's not a Zona and gets involved, I will shit on you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. It's yeah. a zoner issue. It's a zoner issue. True, true, true. No, you're right about <laughs> it's like, that. For example, if it was happening in Liberty, it would be, be the responsibility of the Liberty corporations or, yeah. or the Liberty government. Whereas like with Grand Canary, it's like, I think the zoners are slowly getting into a good position now where they can really start looking after themselves. They can start taking their own problems on yeah. instead of being instead of being the doormats. I mean, that that's that's really like, that's really where everything comes from. This one has been asked you a lot, and uh, 
I kind of know the answer to it, but uh, it has been a little while, so it would be nice if you could refresh us in this. Where's the name Velvet coming from, and why did you go for it? I've been asked this so many times. Yeah, All right, man. you've got like the, the yeah. softest, softest group of, in freelance. So you're trying to turn them, in, turn them into badasses, yeah. but you go for a fabric that is like really soft and really comfortable. Yeah. What are you doing? Do you want to know what? I, the amount of times I've been asked this, and the amount of times I literally <laughs> did, again have to throw my hands in the air and go, yeah. I really don't know. Really? I just like the sound of it. It just seemed to have like a really weird, like originally because we only started off as a wing. It, it is just, weird. It yeah. had a really nice flow. Yeah. It just sounded nice, velvet wing. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I mean now because we've gotten onto such a such a size, I mean yeah. what the the Discord is sat at thirty members at the moment. Yeah, also in in game, dude. I see when you guys are logging, at least like three or four people are on. Yeah, that's like that's a minimum. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I saw I mean, I ten of you at once. <laughs> one, so yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, that was during that nomad event, wasn't it? True, that true, was... true. I'll that get to the. I'll, I'll get to that in another question. <laughs> oh, so. don't worry. There, before we get onto that question, and yeah. small teaser. There is more of that to come. There's more of that. There's a lot more of that. Oh, cool. A cool. lot more. Um, that, but that maybe, event maybe with more than nomads maybe with more than nomads then. was 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 that event yeah. I, I don't remember now was this, that event uh, done by you or like did someone else uh, uh, it was actually done it's uh, sort of done by me and snoopy really oh um, yeah oh yeah i see okay. it's sort of i i messaged snoopy hey dude i'm bored you fancy setting up an event for sure, sure, sure. versus nomads and then yeah. it sort of just ended up we ended up trying to keep it on Discord because we didn't want anything of course. too official. But we were really struggling for Nomad players. I see. I like see. everyone on Velvet had signed up and be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it." Yeah. And yeah. then, and then just Nomads, we were just struggling to get anyone. So I was like, "You know what? Fuck! Like, I'm just going to put something on on the forums and just pray to God yeah. that something happens with it." I mean, yeah. thankfully, we ended up opening it up to Indies as well, and it just turned out to be a really good event. Like. Um, I think next time is definitely there should definitely be more antagonists and protagonists I because see. having just a single faction versus you know multiple yeah okay yeah you can balance it out with the numbers but it gets a bit I mean, boring it's shooting 101. True. Also, if maybe if you if you guys would have done it in a deeper nomad system, you would have mm. been okay. Yeah, like one team against it, but like you were really close. You were lost. And like Delta, it was like really close by, so kind of like yeah. um, okay, you had other factions. I've, got a, very good I've yeah. got a very good reason, really, why, why okay. I decided Lost was probably the best place for it. Because okay. let's be honest, the whole idea of 3.11 being seized was such a running meme. Like, yeah, it's a bigger it meme than 50,000 Zona Marine. <laughs> like, it, yeah, 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 yeah. I see like, and then you sort of, because that was the original event idea. It was like, hey, why don't we just see three? Like, why don't Nomads just see three yeah. eleven? But this yeah. time, do it properly and actually have a proper win lose scenario. Makes sense. And I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not an official faction. I can't push for something like True. that. True. Yeah, I see. And what it you wouldn't mean. be fair on on so many other people that would want to be involved. And I was like, do you want to know what? Velvet is expanding. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Lost. Let's set up a base there. Let's go with a fleet. Okay. And see if see if we can get something that that would resemble some form of base in there. We know it's a nomad, nomad hive. I mean, there is. We know, we know about Planet Moros, obviously, in the game. Also, the but... AI base there, Secundus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's Secundus there as well, which yeah. again would have been really good for the actual research side of the faction, more of the true. logistics and more of more of the intelligence. True, true. So, I mean, there's a lot there that we could have done. I mean, we're looking at collaborations with Core, possibly with Order. I mean, possibly even with Corsairs, just to try and yeah. get some form of, you know. Let's get a human settlement out there. Yes. Yeah. Even if it's like a small base that is really well hidden, yeah. let's try and do it. Speaking... So instead of it being Omicron lost, have it as Omicron found. <laughs> I assume. <laughs> nice. But speaking about that, Sorry. like, like uh, speaking about this is this is more of a personal question now. Uh, mm. AI base. I just mentioned here about AI base. So you guys have yeah. bases in Kappa, like Levadia Shipyard, and yeah. Corinth Research Corinth. Station. Do you guys yep. did you guys do anything with that up until now, or are you still planning to do something? Uh, uh, we've not really touched those two bases, mostly because they're IRG, and oh, I yeah, don't really true. want to be stepping on. True, I like, forgot. I forgot yeah, about. Okay, I'm going to be stepping. I, to be fair, a lot of people do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm true. joking. I'm joking. Don't, <laughs> don't don't try and FR5 me. True, true, true. 
<laughs> after five months. Um, so, no, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, jo I'm, I'm joking. Of yeah. course, no, he's, yeah. he's a good lad. Yeah, but yeah. like, um, okay, so this is with... the, the whole thing is just IRG area, so it's not really in your yeah. reach. I mean, okay. don't get me wrong, it, it's of interest because there are obviously oh. nomads that must pass through there because we've had problems in Vega in the past where nomads yeah. were sieging Hellas Base. They ended up doing an entire siege on three point nine at one stage as well. I like see. not an actual event or anything, but just a load of nomad players log. And they were just sat around three point nine. Yep. Um and so it's sort of like we do go in and out, but it's not really it's not really where the organization would, would go. Yeah. Because there's already IRG and massive research group that are already based out there. I mean what could we do that ultimately they couldn't? I mean what mm -hmm. IRP there Yep. In role playing terms, they're about 10,000 people strong. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know how big Velvet in reality at this stage would be. I mean, it was growing really quick. Of course, of course. But I don't think, I don't think we would compare to that even with how quickly we have grown. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're still based out of a single station. I mean, that's why we had to have yep. POV right next to Freeport 11 because the amount of people we have, the amount of ships, there's just no justification for a single base. True. Like I say, having a good few fleets worth of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. On a free port that has been sieged for so long. True, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> That's <laughs> actually, yeah, yeah. Speaking about Velvet's uh, stance, actually, let, let me move on to the uh, next longer discussion question. Uh, yep. Where is your faction standing right now? Like diplomacies, RP stories, procedures, whatever you plan. I don't mean, go to the future of the flat just right now like where is it now <laughs> oh god um do you want to know what i'm gonna i'm gonna have to on answer this as honestly as possible and say gotcha. i really don't actually know because our politics yeah we're one of these sort of like organizations our politics changes so quickly you're like who we're working with. this kind of one minute we're literally yeah. one minute we're in bed with core then we're in bed with the order and then we're planning. Yeah, I was about weird, to stupid thing was with Obsidian. Then. then out of nowhere, we're coalition. <laughs> Actually, no. We. I think if there's any faction at the moment yeah. that we're probably less than, like I wouldn't say hostile to, but we're less well, than welcoming to at the moment. It's coalition. Well, well uh, let's. I mean, what is the? Um, well, you gotta defer. Like, there is these uh, civilian coalition and there's the military. So how? Yeah. Do you? Um, if I remember, if, we were there with the uh, Volgograd Industrial, which are a civilian trading faction, right? So you were yeah. you weren't that hostile towards. No, Vol Volgograd because yeah. they're they're sort of more of a trading faction. Yeah, they're, true, true. They're obviously not going to be causing any problems, especially when we've got like four or five Aquilans sat outside. Yeah. Eleven <laughs> saying, "Hey guys, how's everything going?" How's, we're gonna... like, they're not going to cause any problems. But true, true, true. Yeah. I think it was um, but... Sket. Yes. Yeah, Sir Cyrilich. Yeah, Serious Coalition Expedition of Court. Oh, okay, let's get Yeah, okay. They, they, they had caused problems in the past, but Ooh. we ended up smoothing them over. Same with Custody, who actually, funnily enough, Custody caused a lot of problems with with the Skek originally. And oh. now, somehow, even though it's Custody that caused all the problems, yeah. we as an organization are now closer to Custody than we are with the people who didn't cause the problem. Mm, okay. Which makes no sense at all. Like I've been thinking about it more and more. And it's like, well, no, we can't really be hostile to Custody because we're so such good friends with the Brotherhood. So it's sort of mm. like, it's, but the, like but I say, the, our, a... our diplomacy is so yeah. backwards and so weird. But the thing is, though, that now that you mentioned the Brotherhood, there is a uh, small extension between those factions, which is, I mean, I'm not if you're aware, but the Custody is the one that started this whole alliance with Gallia thing, right? And the Brotherhood mm -hmm. were kind of the ones against this whole thing. Yeah. So how does that even affect you guys at some way? Like, or not really? Um, like Gallia isn't really that interesting to you guys, right? At this point, or no, not it? at all. In yeah. Until they start causing problems and yeah. start annexing our things, Cop yeah. Antonia, yeah. we don't really give. <laughs> true, true. Really care. Man. I'll get to that question. Yeah. Though. Let's let's not. I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah that, that is a bit of a spoiler, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you sort of sat there and you go, in reality, would yeah, okay, we're not your traditional zoners, but we are still zoners at the end of the day. Yeah. Do we care about something that's not bothering us? No, not really. Yeah. When they start bothering us, then we'll care. But until then, it's sort of like 
Oh, so Gallo's been causing wars in Syria. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's Good cool. for them. Yeah, true, <laughs> true, oh, true. Wow, there's been like a mass genocide of like several thousand people. <laughs> oh, at least they weren't ours. True, true. I don't know. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I know true. that sounds really bad, but that's the way you've got to look at it from a role play perspective. Right? Yeah. Just, uh, it's yep. quite fun because I do have some some characters who are involved yep. with, with the war in some way or another. Okay. See, and see. So it's sort of like having that that really fun, no, I don't really care, versus, oh my god, I'm going to kill this one side no matter what, oh my god, otherwise Sirius is going <laughs> to die, or, oh my god, the, the king king of Galio will perish for no reason. True. And then you sort of like come, come back glowing to your own faction and it's like, oh, cool, so that happened. That's true, cool. True. True. <laughs> Spe speaking of Omega Forty Nine, let's actually get right uh, jump into that. Oh god. Do, this, might <laughs> this might be really a long one because I haven't seen any other zone of factions like mentioning it at all uh, recently. So I'm like, do you have any plans regarding Omega Forty Nine and Grand Canary as a zoner group, uh, or will they let that let the past simply be? The past regarding Bretonian conquest because that was, you know, the zoners have yeah. been shitted on and they had to make oh, records. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, what are your thoughts yeah. and what are your views or, or what are your plans in Omega 49? I mean, here's <laughs> the thing even yeah. a huge zone battle group wouldn't be able to stand up to a house, it, it doesn't is a matter bit... how weak that house is. Yeah, yeah, like even a house that at this stage, I mean, again, call me out if I'm wrong here, but Rhineland currently is relatively weak because they've been living on basically a war regime the entire time no it is true they are actually so weak but like a lot of people don't want to acknowledge that and they're like yeah, <laughs> yeah. no we're gonna go imperial I mean, right no but yeah you're right you're right it is actually, actually especially I mean, reality, when you yeah i mean like, when you actually think about it yeah given 26 25 26 years after the nomad war and all mm -hmm. the houses have still been in con constant odds with each other in some way or another yeah the, the houses in reality are the are the ones that are getting beaten down and beaten down That's which true i don't know i don't know how explored this has been but how many people have ultimately fled the houses because of the constant war i mean okay mm. it's easy to look at it from I mean, i'm going on a bit of a tangent here but this this does actually lead into Grand canary well, that's interesting down the line. yeah yeah true true because it's i think it's one of those things that again i've not really thought about it in depth until really a few days ago it was okay there's been constant war pretty much 25 years after the nomad war how many people at this stage have just gone you know what i've had enough i'm true. going to the edge world so if i'm going to be in a war i might as well be in a war against true. humanity's worst enemies or i'll go off and become one of them or you Sounds... know you've got all of these different things that haven't really been truly explored yet because all that's happened is oh another house is at war oh Gallia's come here I mean, this isn't really a fault of the devs because there's obviously a lot that they want to explore, but it's like, okay, now we've got to start looking at, from a storyline perspective, where have all the consequences come in? I mean, obviously, I mean, let's, let's play. Area is one of those consequences. Yeah, yeah. Also, Omega 3 too. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, like, you look at I mean, them, it's... Every, every single thing has sort of just ha happened in yeah. one way or another. They, like you start look, looking back and go okay so that's really been a consequence of that yeah. this has been a consequence of this and it's sort of like okay but when do all those consequences start adding up into something completely different that's actually not related because of all the problems that the were true true i mean this is this is actually something again i'm not going to drop names but no, this is what a lot of people have said on the forums yeah um the person who originally started these conversations i'm pretty sure at this stage people have already guessed yeah but the person who started these conversations i agree with them 100 percent. yeah i might not yeah. i'm not vocal in supporting it yeah because you know i'm a fucking stoner at the end of the day i don't really give <laughs> sure, a shit sure, sure. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but seriously like it's now i think it's now as far as disco goes it's got to start looking at the consequences of why things have happened you know, Why like things Canary, it wouldn't have happened under any other circumstance it's, other than that's true because Britannia are getting to such a weakened state, they had to go right. We need something here. I yeah, mean, but I mean, yeah, okay, there you, could have been a lot of good role play around it. You, you could also blame a couple other factions because you know I I'm just saying I don't want to name. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, I'm just saying it's not all down. You to know, it's uh, not if all people Britannia's fault. No, no, it's not, but I mean, I'm just saying like if people. That watch my channel here know that I've been talking about the coalition a lot. <laughs> it's kind of like this non-aggression pack kind of allowed them to dig deeper into Omega 49. Just my views. Because, I mean, imagine that. You have the coalition, you have the Bretonia, and then you have zoners. 
like really yeah. I mean, tight next to each other and if you have this one faction just going no I, we're not going to help you of course mm. like you know what i mean uh yeah like, there's gonna this... be tensions there's exactly. gonna be a lot of tensions true true i so mean it's like so... how long can you have tensions it doesn't matter how long yeah like for example with the <laughs> zo like the zoners as a whole it doesn't matter how long you try and remain neutral true. eventually everyone has to pick sides that's you true. have to that's true that's true i mean I yeah know. you can be offensive to as much as you want yeah. again this is with anything in life eventually mm -hmm. you have to make a choice and if your choice is to abstain at the end of the day grand canario is going to keep on happening that's true that's at true at least from a role play point of view that's true so i mean i guess this also ties back into one of the original questions of the origin of velvet yeah it is i think it is a consequence of so many things just being left by the wayside yeah and these things that don't have consequences not happen that something radically different ended up happening Mm, yeah. I mean, like, if you would have said in 4.85, oh yeah, by the way, there's a, there's going to be a pretty much indie zoner group that's going to have 30 members and it's going to be Ooh. basically a standing military that can almost rival a small hat. True. It's basically based off of one, maybe two stations. Yeah, yeah. Everyone would have turned around and laughed and then you look at everything that's happened now and you go, you know what? Yeah, okay, anything is probably possible. True, this. yeah. <laughs> that's actually but true. Yeah, I mean, the server has... Really changed to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd go with you. Yeah, um, yeah just... no, I mean, I guess ultimately, as far as Grand Canary goes, I mean, I know I said I'd get round to it eventually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is just a consequence of things happening that haven't been explored and haven't haven't had that opportunity yet. Yeah, yeah. To have the reasons and the why yeah. really looked at. That's, I mean, go, oh, this thing's happened. That's where. Like, yeah, but there's purpose. Yeah, that's where I wanted I don't, to. I don't, go because I, I was also thinking like I, I know you said uh the, the devs are not to blame here the thing is just uh yeah sure there may be low numbers too that's also something to consider mm. uh i was always suggesting thing can we have like more details as in you know i don't think there is a proper write-up of all the factions with their single like what do they have what can they do can they even expand on this at this point like what are their resources? Mm. Like, can they even do that? Like, and, and stuff, questions like you said, like, why would they go for that? I wish there yeah. was a more detailed uh, version somewhere in the forum that we could read like, and be like, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense because, you know, this and this happened. So that's why they did the thing it. Is, I, th yeah. I think what a that's lot, a lot of, of work is, yep. yeah, it's a lot. It's not just the work side of things. It's also, in reality, if you're following the story, you should be at, like, yeah. It does come down a bit to the community here. I'm not blame, like I say, I'm not throwing blame at the community here. Yeah. But you do have to start putting two and two together. You do have to start thinking, all right, put yourselves in these situations and think, okay, what mm -hmm. would happen if you are in this situation? Like with Bretonia being true. basically New London, New London about to be fucking obliterated. True, true. You've got, you've just lost lead. You, you're basically about to lose everything you've got. You're going to have to do something radical. And unless you, you're prepared to think outside the box of okay what is this radical gonna be yeah well, i'm sorry you you're gonna be always oh yeah but there was no explanation there was no explanation well, no there have been explanations you've got to you've got to look at it and then start yeah. analyzing it yeah i see what you mean i see what you mean well maybe yeah i guess you know, it could be from, from both sides but uh it's it's mm. a bit of a tricky uh situation like you don't actually know yeah with what intention those things were done and uh, also yeah that's why it would help having more basis and more knowledge and like why things happen mm. so that people would yeah. actually understand and instead of just bam event okay this is happening okay now d like done like omega 49 is bretonia you know what i mean so yeah i mean yeah. There, there is a lot of things that just has no flat out explanation i mean i'm gonna be yeah. honest I, I was a victim of this when i did my little event yeah I? yeah there was no real role play explanation for why it happened yeah i call this would just make some activity true 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 and yeah a lot of the time you've got to think okay you've got to think what happened in the role playing environment you've also got to think you know disco's been going strong now what 2006 in reality yep started having problems in 2007 2008 got pretty popular in 2010 mm -hmm. and yeah okay i hate saying this because i love this guy i think it's amazing it's the most unique community out there it is but it, it is. is slowly dying and there's that's, not that many more people coming in than that's either. true that's so true. It's sort of like you've got to hold on to it and i don't know like i said I, I, 
it, that's a bit of a tangent. I completely digressed off there, off the of the actual conversation. But yeah. again, I think that's one of the things that probably needs to be looked at. True, true. Not from a development or story standpoint or anything else, but as a community, it's like, all right, we're, we're slowly dying. We need to start thinking of true. why things are happening. True. Like not just from a story side, but on a community side as well. But I mean, and I, and I think there's a lot of factions out there yeah. that are consequences of that. Yeah. I mean, the uh, another problem is also. Um, it's not like, I mean, I've been playing this since 2008, right? Which was 4.84 or 8.3, I don't remember. But, uh, I think it was even before that, I don't know. It could be, I, th it could be. I, I don't remember quite. But like, th there, um, the, th the questions have always been around. It's just, like you said, nobody bothered to solve it on, like, engage in a serious discussion how this could happen it's more like there was the question like what are they, what's going on etc uh what's the problem here and uh or or i have this problem like why did you go do uh, why did you guys do it like that and mostly i mean let's just be real in this community <laughs> community you get you get yeah you know that, or you, you get shat on like you're like oh you're so stupid whatever and like <laughs> everyone just starts fighting and there is no solution and this to topic stays dead for years yeah. Until someone brings it up again, and then it's dead again, and no, none of those things are being fixed. But uh, anyhow, that's yeah. a lot of disco talk. So <laughs> I'm coming yeah. back to uh, right, let's get back onto yeah, the let's get back stuff, to yeah. faction stuff. So I'm coming back to <laughs> diplomacies. So as the, there was a uh, question asked by Leon, A.K. Wronski, the leader of VI, said, uh, "What is the stance?" I mean, this is literally so. Uh, Typical question, but what is the stance of Velvet's trade policy? For example, do they trade with anyone or only specific gro groups only? Okay, so yeah, because we we go more on the military side of things, it's sort of we look at who can assist us with our greater goal of being able to ultimately crush the nomads, secure secure our own bases, yep. and not have to rely like ultimately not rely on everyone else for our independent. Yep. So sort of like th there are factions that we would prioritize working with but there wouldn't be any faction unless you're aligned with the nomads that we would mm. decline working with oh. so it's like for example like the two group like very greatest allies that velvet have yeah are both core and order who mm. are in a yeah. total war with each other they're like they're ready to rip each other's guts <laughs> out go to each other's home True. worlds and True. just start throwing nymphs about for, for a joke yeah we work with both of them yeah as if if we get caught working with the other one they don't really care because they know that at the end of the day we work with the order on the proviso that everything we do with the order yeah. doesn't go into fighting core and yeah that's everything the, that, we do with core doesn't go into fighting the order and yeah we that's, have those standing agreements that, that's the and thing so if those agreements do get broken yeah yep. you then have to go okay you've broken our agreement we're not going to be helping you for the next however long yeah this hasn't actually ever happened yet because every time we, we're like we've i think we've just worked worked on pure back scratching alone but no one's wanted to screw the other one over yet yeah i mean it, it will inevitably happen there will never be a time when velvet as a faction might have to choose between order and core and i'm going to be honest in my head i have already made that mind up well the, the I mean, question... i'm not going to tell everyone but yeah, of course i have already made that <laughs> but the question here is like you guys are running free ports and uh up until now the zoners like you said they've always been treated like kind of like lesser beings or whatever and uh mm -hmm. the, either it was core enforcing law this is imperium omicronis right it's it's our yeah th those are our rules you're gonna apply to that or like order and, and my question here is what well, would actually consider applying zonal laws at some point like really be like hey guys I mean, you yeah. guys already do that with no fire zones, etc. But like, no, we've we've actually gone as far as everything that we have on a no fire zone. I see. We basically have, yeah, have like our own. I wouldn't say it's laws necessarily, but we yeah. have our own yeah. standing. I, Stand I think probably the best way to describe it would be standing agreements mm. that we don't cause problems with you if you don't cause problems with us. I True. mean, yeah, okay, that's a very hard thing for, like, if you were just another administrator like like the previous one yeah and you said that the other faction would just turn around and go you've not got a leg to stand on you're just literally a person true true whereas i think because velvet because of the way that it's all been set up yeah we do have enough power to say don't step on us because 
we do have enough forces where if we side with the other person, we tip. We yeah. do tip the balance. Yeah. And we tip it pretty heavily. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're probably not. We're not as big as the core. We're not as big as the order, but we're definitely big enough where we can turn around and go. Right, we're tipping the scales because True. you've screwed us over. We're not bringing you over. And because no one wants to go in that situation, I think it's more just being everyone's gotten on well. I which, guess to be honest, so. I'd much more prefer. I guess so. Yeah. I just like the idea of just not having to deal with yeah. problems that aren't already there. I see. I see. I see what I mean. Okay. But then as well, what also helps us is we've also got common goals. So, for example, we've got a very common goal with the order and, and the course. So, yeah. in reality, they know that we're helping them achieve their goal, even if we are helping the other person achieve that goal. But I mean, you're talking about the normal threat, right? At this point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. I know what you mean. Okay. So let's let's uh, drop off your current situation, in fact, and let's hop into what are your goals and what is the future. Of velvet, gonna be um, gonna look like so, so. Yeah. How do you, you know how they ask? How do you see yourself Where in ten you years? See in five years time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, mate, do you want to know what? Yeah. Uh, the amount of plans that I've got for the faction it literally varies by the day. I can literally turn around and go, "All right, cool. Today we're just gonna we're not gonna do anything. We're just literally gonna trade with our, our friends over in GMG. We're gonna go do this with this faction." Yeah, yeah. Or and then another day, I'll turn around and play. Do you want to know what guys? It's probably about time that we actually did something. I see. And we actually had an impact, but yeah. it's I don't know because it's it is such a free faction. It's one of those things. It's like True. yeah, okay, it's very heavily militarized, but it's still ultimately zona. So there's True. so much that can go on with it. It's not like for example OSI. You know that they're what they're going to be doing is yeah. running around power trading. You yeah. you know with IRG <laughs> they're going to be running around researching stuff yeah you true. know with taz they're gonna go around being crazy true. like full-on history true. <laughs> you know? true yeah yeah, yeah. I see whereas like mean. with we're velvet because we ha like i have set it up now in such a way where it is a full-on organization it's not yeah like it's not dependent on subsidiaries or anything like that it is its own standing thing now. i see i see it's sort of like it's it's got that that much level of freedom that mm. i guess so I guess any, in a weird anything way, can happen. The others don't have. At this yeah. point, okay. It's sort of like, yeah, okay. Like we were saying earlier about Omicron uh, there, Omega yeah. Forty Nine. Yeah. With Gran Canaria, and would I go back and do something with that? I mean, I think given given how things are going, I probably wouldn't. However, I would definitely go there to the other zone base there and set I mean, up a nice big presence just to be on the safe side. Oh yeah, the Lanzarote station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd definitely at, do something like that. At this point, the, the question, I guess, uh, comes more heavier because you have already heard the Gallic War is ending, right? So, yep. that's I think so again, that's the so that, that's the question. Yeah, I mean, how is that gonna affect like our Bretonians? I, I I think at this point, <laughs> all of us <laughs> kind of are suspicious <laughs> that they won't give Gran Canaria back, right? Let's be let's be real. Yeah. No, but but I mean, would they have a role? Would they have an, a yeah. role play reason to to return Gran Canaria? In reality, at this stage, I don't think they do. I don't think so they. they I, I think it. I think so too. They would be like, I, 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 like my view is, they would be like, hey, we had this war here, and uh, it kind of literally obliterated us, leads and stuff, and now we have two more systems kind of under our control. We you wouldn't give that up, right? In case another no. war like that happens, right? So I think you couldn't. You yeah. can weaken yourself after true. you've been in after you've been in a conflict that much. True, you true. can't then go and weaken yourselves. Yeah. So yeah, I guess that's what it Well, okay, well uh, if if we're gonna shift from Omega 49, let's let's go with the Omicrons. That's where you guys are mostly active. Uh yeah. What do you think about the future of zoners in general, the faction in Sirius or in the deeper Omicron. So I will let leave Cyrus around and let's, let's go for deeper Omicrons. What are the future so of the I, faction? Yeah. Not so your faction? The yeah. Like the future of the zoners are zoners. It's just the More same. More than anything. Okay. Yeah. Because okay, I was, so I was thinking, because I was thinking, like you said, about like at some point you gotta choose something, right? So I'm thinking, yeah, you've got to make a choice. Yeah, so I'm thinking, would that affect all these owners or just, you know, Velvet at this point? Okay, this is something that yeah. I do want to keep pushed. Like, 
I've had the idea on it in the past. Okay. And I have spoken to my two ICs, yep. both previous two ICs and current and current about this. And that's because although Velvet are very clearly zoners, yep. we're so vastly different, even though we have the same basis, yep. that it would almost make sense for whatever bases we would ever be working with, we yep. wouldn't be zoners because we would be seen as we wouldn't be above them necessarily. We'd be more with yeah. the security there. We're not there as the civilian population. So it's sort of like it's I've, kind I've been put yep. thinking on this for a while and that's having a velvet IFF because it it makes more sense that we we don't necessarily aren't strictly tied to zoners. the way zoners work. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we still have that basis in the faction where every <laughs> ten words or so about the yeah. faction is something to do with, with the zoners. So I mean <laughs> I don't know. I think it kind of sounds like. I mean, if you ask me, it kind of sounds like Velvet at this point is like an answer to all those, like you said, all those zoner pressure. I mean, against zoners, uh, it's kind of like you have this security force in all those spaces, and now if in the future something like that will happen, Omega Forty Nine or whatever, uh, Freeport Eleven, uh, yeah. you have at least a force now that you can say, hey, no, you know. Like, and it's we're not even that because yeah, because here's the thing with with the velvet politics. Like I said, because it's so far up in the air, mm -hmm. it's not like normal zoners will turn around and go, "No, we don't want anything to do with it." Yeah. We're a lot more like, "Yeah, cool, we'll get involved." On the proviso that we don't be pulled into it for rather me. I see. So sort of like we do have that whole thing of we're more than happy to work work with enemies of enemy. Yeah. But whatever we work with, with those people can't be used against those enemies. I see. I see. Again, it goes back to the whole thing of how we manage to have such close relations with both Paul and the Order. Yeah, true, true. And even manage to maintain some sort of level of diplomacy with, with even Obsession as well. Yeah. Which all three factions hugely at war with each other. True, true, true. So it's sort of like, in reality, most owners would turn around and go, no, we don't want anything to do with all three of them. They're all just killing I mean, Whereas we go, eh, whatever. <laughs> I mean, now that you bring that up, I, I had this question. This is going to be the last question, by the way. It's, um, yeah. you say, like, we're working with core, we're working with order, but, like, uh, at this point, zoners have always been this, like, you know, either work with this faction or work with two factions, whatever. But I'm thinking, with the Nomad threat, we've seen you in a couple events fighting Nomads, right? Including the last one. Yep. Um, yep. In which you kind of have taken a role besides order and core. So mm -hmm. kind of like, uh, like you know, we are our own thing. So it's like you have core fighting nomads, you have order fighting nomads their own ways. So it's kind of well with like having their uh, own kind of structure. Like now, now we're not going to depend on these guys to take care of nomads, but we're also going to do our job at this. You know. So is that is is, is that was that intentional or does well not seek to be going that far? A screw order, screw core. We're going to take care of. Okay, take care of the Omicrons and the humans. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you want to know what? Is yeah. that, I think I actually had this joke with Lyft a while back. Yeah. I know I'm name dropping him here, but. Imperium this, Zoners. This is, this is, this is yeah. very typical of like a conversation between me and him. Yeah. I even joked to him and said, well, look, look, mate, at the end of the day, we're growing. Core True. is struggling, struggling with active members. True. I mean, how long before the order of Macronis or whatever the hell you call yourself? Yeah. <laughs> how long before that dissolves and it just becomes velvet? True. I mean, it's not too far away, mate. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, like, yeah. To be fair, this this was what this this was said as a joke before we even started pushing for official gun. I see. And um, it was yeah. one of those things. That just, it was a really bad joke. I, I'll maintain it as a joke and I'll never pursue it. I see. Okay. But it was just like you know what? You, you've got to have that little thought in the back of your mind, going, you know what? It's yeah. about the time that the free people truly became free. There was no other no other faction there. Yeah. And they were just like, right, screw you all. We're having <laughs> nothing to do with any of you. We're kicking you all out. True, man. We somehow Get out of acquired this huge force <laughs> and this... leave us be. <laughs> go go like... have your own wars. True. Like, we don't care anymore. True. <laughs> kind of like, th this is uh, Sparta. Uh... Just fucking kicking them out. <laughs> <laughs> just full yeah. on kick him straight into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or just uh... go full on gladiator and just... Yeah. Scream around to the rest of the community. True. Are you not entertained? <laughs> True. <laughs> so you mentioned you mentioned official dome, right? 
So this is gonna be the last yeah. one. <laughs> the official loan. Uh, so when did you apply for it, and when is like when is the, the, the when are they gonna vote on it? Like when what's going on right now? Two months ago, and now. Now it's okay. Like so literally right this moment. What what are your feelings? <laughs> uh, we haven't got it, but fucking it was good off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So I see you. I see you. All right. No, I don't know. I. In all honesty, I'd be surprised if we don't get it because we have put in a lot of activity. True, I mean, we've you guys. We've done an event, we've done, like, yeah. we've been really involved in the forums. Like, all the guys have been logging a lot, even when I've not been able to. Yeah, true. In the true. UK, I, I expect a lot of factions to be suffering a bit other than, like, yeah. BAF, GRN, etc., for a while because that's it's true. the end of the Gallic War. I don't want to be true. pushing activity on something that's the other end of the. Of the yeah, I see what you mean. So it's like, yeah, okay. There's going to be a few of us that just really don't care who are just keep going to keep on doing our own thing. Okay. But okay. I don't know. I'd be surprised if we don't get it. But at the same time, it's sort of like, if we don't get it, oh well, we just try again. Or true. Okay, if I we mean, don't get it, then there's probably exact, a reason for it. I mean, yeah. the, the community's behind it to some regard. I mean, we've got true. a lot of members, but that yeah. doesn't mean the community as a whole is yeah. liking what we're doing. So I mean, have we deserved it? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I guess that's really the key thing with official film. Have you burnt it as a faction? True. Um, well, I well, don't know if we have, but... Well, if you ask me, you guys we'll deserve it. You guys deserve it. You guys should get the official loan. <laughs> you guys have put a lot of work. Oh, God. That's it. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm fighting everyone. I'm gonna right, we are the true war zoners. <laughs> I will kill everyone. True killer. <laughs> so, uh, Imo, <laughs> dude, thanks for answering these questions, dude. I'm going to leave this... Um, I'm gonna give you a small time and, and tell people about, like, uh, what is going on in Velvet. Like, wh where can they find you? Where can they apply recruitment, whatever? So the floor is yours, dude. The last one minute. Well, I mean, I guess like every other faction, we're on the forums. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've got all the recruitment and everything on on my actual account, and as well as the. Um, your, the Velvet account. Your recruitment is so, public, right? It's not a uh, invitation only, right? Or no, it is public. Okay, Everything public. on there is public. Yeah. Because um, I'm one of these. I, I like to keep things as open as, and honest as possible. Yep. So, like on my Immortality 23 account, I, I think I've got links to the feedback, the about, and the recruit. Yeah. Um. So if anyone ever wants to, like, see me post something and they see, oh, who's this random person with a red virgin sign on it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see. Oh, don't worry. I've, I, I've had so many people joke about that with the logo. Oh, you, you've just read Virgins, you lot. It's like, wow. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, wow. stoners. Nice, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Imo. Sorry, right. you'll never be able to look at us the same now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that screwed the whole interview, dude. That, that's, I'm not going to offload it. <laughs> no, but uh, Imo, dude, thank you so much, man. It was so nice having you. Uh, yeah, no worries. Dude, dude. <laughs> thanks for joining. That's right. Thanks. Thanks for uh, giving yeah. me the opportunity to waste however long I've just wasted of everyone's time. Of course, no problem. Dude. I mean, we're going to do this with other factions too. So. Of course. I, I don't know who I feel more sorry for, you or them. <laughs> All right, guys. So this was Imo, the faction leader of Velvet, the Zoner faction. If you want to look for their recruitment page or info page, whatever, you can go on the Discovery GC forums and go into an unofficial factions group. And you should be f able to find them. Uh, there is also a list of unofficial factions. I think they're on it, so you can find it easier instead of going uh, through all the pages. So uh, give them, give those guys some love. Uh, write something on their feedback. And if you want to encounter them, go to Delta. They're mostly active in Delta, and um, I I'm sure you're gonna have a great time. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue this. So I had VI. I had Velvet now, and I invited Liv for core, but he he didn't. It's so hard to get him on on the show. But uh, uh, I also saw some people asking you for the RM leader. Rhineland was Rhineland going? I right now, I am not sure which one is the leader. So I have to dig that up a little bit. But uh, I'll probably ask this guy too. So uh, well, might have him on the, on the next show. Thanks, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.